guys, it's Amanda here and I'm going to give you some grilling tips. So I've got a charcoal grill and I use this all the time. And I know that it was it's a little intimidating for some at first. Um, I was one of those, but trust me, it's not as bad as you think. Some things you need. So you do need some charcoal. I just get normal charcoal. It doesn't have the lighter, lighter fluid already in it because if that gets wet, it won't work anymore. So, okay, so I've put my charcoal in there just in a pile. It doesn't have to be perfect, but try to kind of keep them all together. And then I'm going to take my trusty lighter fluid. I just buy the big thing. I got this at Walmart. And you're just going to spray that all over the charcoal. like that and then I'm going to take my lighter and I'm going to start in the back and you kind of want to watch when the flames start um, it doesn't take long and don't worry about lighting a whole bunch because the flames are going to spread pretty quickly so I'm just going to light it in a few different spots and see it's catching fast I'm going to get my hand out of there and it's going to go up in flames and you kind of want to step back and then this is going to flame for a while and then it's going to turn the flames are going to go out um, and then it's going to turn start turning to chart to ash so you want to keep your grill open at this point and then we'll come back and check on it so I just kind of leave it out here and I go inside okay, I wanted to come out here and check and show you see it's smoking a lot but the flames have gone out and some of it is starting to turn right white so you want most of it to be white um, and then that means that it's really hot and ready to go so I'm just gonna leave my lid open until it's a little bit more white and I'll show you what it looks like in a few more minutes I usually um, I like to wait I give myself about 30 minutes for that to be ready so during that time is when I'm prepping my meat if it's frozen I'm thawing it out um, if it's not, I'll season it and just let it sit waiting for this to be ready. Okay, so now you can see that most of the charcoal is white and it's glowing red underneath. Not all of it's white, but that's fine. So I'm going to take my tongs. This is what I do and it is pretty hot. So I kind of move over to the side, but you want to spread these coals out a little bit. So that's super duper hot. One of these days I'll get some better... Um, tongs but for now this is what I got so once I've got those spread out I'm gonna grab my grate I'm gonna stick it back on here and then I'm gonna close my lid now do you see how this has a vent here it's best to keep it open at least most of the way I just kind of keep mine open all the way it kind of lets the air flow and then there's one down here too and you want to make sure that one for sure is open that lets air go through and circulate out and that keeps the charcoal hot so I have a bowl here that I put some oil and a paper towel in and I'm gonna soak my paper towel in the oil I'm gonna take my tongs and kind of fold that in half like this make sure that you've got a good grip on it okay I'm going to come over here and open my grill and I kind of stand to the side when I open it because smoke comes out the front. I'm going to sit here with this paper towel and I'm going to rub the grate. That's going to kind of leave an oily surface to where the chicken that I'm cooking isn't going to stick and I do not do this every time that I grill but it's been a while since I've done it so that's why I'm doing it now so it kind of like cuts up your paper towel but that's okay so now I'm going to close this again and kind of let that get heated up and run inside and grab my chicken I went inside and I grabbed my chicken I'm going to open up my grill I'm going to stand to the side and now I'm just going to place the chicken on the grill I'm going to let this cook for at least five minutes and then I'm going to come back. 
Okay, so my chicken's been in here for at least five minutes, maybe a little longer. I want to note that I did rinse my tongs off because my chicken was raw when I used them the first time. So I'm just going to flip the chicken over and let it cook for another three to five minutes. Okay, my chicken has cooked a few more minutes and I recommend getting a some kind of meat thermometer and the chicken needs to be 165 degrees so you kind of want to put it in the meatiest part of the chicken and I like to test a few different areas on the chicken as you can see these are definitely done so I'm going to go ahead and pull these off I have pulled the chicken off and we're ready to go so a tip that I have for chicken and any meat in general um, whether it be hamburgers brats whatever you want to grill um, make sure that you let it sit for at least five minutes it kind of helps the juices flow back into what was being cooked so that it's not so dry so I'm gonna let this sit for a while while I prepare some sides. Um, for tonight I have some leftover potato salad so I'm going to pull that out and just get everything ready while this sits and rests for a bit to get a little bit more juicy. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, subscribe if you want more tips in the kitchen and for cooking.